Sheriff's officer deals with matters after they've been through the court system, so it's non-emergency work, largely dealing with warrants and court orders. Essentially we make people take responsibility for their unpaid fines and warrants. In the role of a Sheriff's officer, there's no particular qualifications that you need. It's all about life experience. There's people in our team from all walks of life. There's young, there's older people, there's people that have worked in hospitality, there's people that have worked in gyms, people that have just come fresh out of school. The training team is great. They have a wealth of knowledge. They've been doing it for so many years. You go through warrants, build up that expertise, you then go into the field with an experienced sheriff's officer. The training set me up to succeed definitely, largely because of how supportive each of the trainers are. I feel like it's not only set me up for my job, it's set me up in life as well. A typical day can range massively. First thing I'll do is sit down at my desk, prepare for the day, look over what kind of work I've got. After that, we'll jump into a meeting with our sergeant, kind of go over the plan for the day, what we're going to tackle, who we're going to be paired up with. It's also an opportunity to bring up any issues you may have for the day, any questions you've got with your sergeant, and then we'll prepare our run. So we've got to go out into the field, figure out which places we're going to go to first. Then we'll go and knock on the door and engage with the debtor that we've got the warrants on. So the majority of our day consists of being in the field. We'll always be two up, which is with another officer in a vehicle. Most of the time we are outdoors. It's nice. You're not stuck in an office all day looking at a computer screen, so you're just actually out there engaging with people. One of the pieces of technology that the Sheriff's Office currently utilises is the AMPR system. Uh, it stands for Automatic Number Plate Recognition. And they've got cameras on each side of the van. When a car is picked up, as a vehicle of interest, so a car with outstanding warrants. Then we apply a wheel clamp to the, the vehicle and that's to ensure that we let them know that they need to take action on those warrants. So in this job, sometimes we work with people who are distressed and we've got to realise that not every person is going to handle receiving the news that we're giving to them the same. We listen to them, we give them all the information, we're not aggressive. We as a team, we will always have a debrief after it. You are trusting each other to take care of one another in all sorts of situations. Outside of that, you also get the opportunity to discuss with your sergeant at any point you need to. When you're here, you put the uniform on, you do what you need to do for the day, you take it off and you go home, and you're able to switch off until the next day until you come in again. Shift options work pretty well for me and for everyone else I've spoken to. I enjoy it largely because I know always when I'm going to be working, so I can plan things weeks in advance. In the job, there's definitely some opportunities for progression. After you've done a few years, you can move up to a senior sheriff's officer. Above that, you have the opportunity to move up to sergeant, and it just keeps going up from there to regional manager, deputy sheriff, and Sheriff Victoria. On days, it is challenging, but it's more than I would have ever expected it to be. It's very easygoing, fun. You work with a lot of great people. Work hours are fantastic. I love my job. I love the team that I work with. I don't think I've ever worked for a place where you build bonds with people as quickly as I have here. I really enjoy this job because it feels good to be working for the Victorian community in the community.